a piddly misdemeanor that probably wouldn't even be charged. Like who would, what kind of prosecutor would waste their time indicting someone for a misdemeanor like this? It's the stupidest thing. Like personally shady, sure, don't cheat on your wife. That should be obvious. But something that should require a federal prosecutor to be involved in, I can think of literally a million things that should take priority over this. The fact that we haven't even prosecuted the rioters that destroyed our cities during the Black Lives Matter riots of 2020, the fact that Antifa actually declared an autonomous zone, both in Atlanta, Georgia, and Portland, Oregon, and they were barely charged for it. The fact that we have illegal aliens, and not just individual illegal aliens, but drug cartels and human traffickers just pouring across our border. The fact that we have gun crime in Chicago that rivals a third world country in war with the fatalities. And this is what, this is what the prosecutor chooses, chooses to, to focus on. Okay, okay, so what might be the motivation here? The motivation is obviously political. The charge is absurd on its face. And as Stephen Miller points out on Twitter, I want to bring this up because I want to read this exactly. Stephen Miller says, I'm going to quote this. The idea that a routine private settlement unconnected to settlement unconnected to any campaign activity is a criminal offense because the settlement should have been paid with official campaign funds is the most preposterous, ludicrous, idiotic, indefensible, fraudulent, quote unquote, legal theory conceivable. Under this, quote unquote, theory, candidates must use federal campaign funds for private, personal, or corporate matters, an exact inversion of federal law. Indeed, the Department of Justice prosecutes those who use campaign funds for expressly non-campaign purposes. Of course, the theory is all bogus pretest. No serious human believes that the Manhattan DA's office believes any of this. They understand this is a purely partisan exercise in vengefully prosecuting a political enemy precisely as it is done in repressive third world nations, despotic regimes, and Marxist authoritarian states. That's interesting. That's interesting. That point is a point that I have not heard uh, many people make, a lot of people are, are are in agreement that this is political witch hunt. I mean, really no one, no one disagrees with that even if they pretend to. Hi guys, it's Liz Wheeler. Don't forget to watch my show, The Liz Wheeler Show, every night at 7 p.m. on The First TV. You can download the free First TV app or you can visit thefirsttv.com slash Liz and start watching today.